What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be talking about six new cards that just got revealed that are set are going to be released in this the new Japanese set V Max Rising. So uh, up front, like these cards are almost certainly not going to be in the Sword and Shield base set that is due to drop for English uh, in February. Um, however, it is like the same release date, but they're completely different sets, unfortunately. Uh, but either way, so I think that means that we'll probably see these probably more in the May time frame when our second set comes out. I think it's like Rebel something. All right, so we do have two new cards for each of the starter types. Uh, so that's Grass, Fire, and Water. And it seems like this set, or at least the way they're doing the reels and the way they're doing box arts, pack arts, and stuff like that, is very catered around the starters in their stage twos. In fact, take a look at the box art. I do think it looks amazing. Uh, they kind of have just the stage twos there. So obviously it's catered around it. And I kind of like how they did this, where the first, the base set, when they actually released as two different sets, Sword and Shield, was obviously revolves around Zamacenta and Zacian where now they're going kind of catering towards the starter types all right but uh so we do have two cards from each type so that's pretty cool and let's get into the first uh or actually no i just want us to say that we got all this information from pokebeach.com from a post by water pokemon master just a site we check out every day i recommend you do the same uh however if you don't you can always check in here for the latest news okay burning scarf uh so i do feel like the fire type cards were the least impressive but we're gonna start with burning scarf and it kind of revolves around the burn mechanic it seems or it's the common theme uh, so this is you attach it to a fire type and if it gets attacked uh, your opponent's attacking Pokemon is now burned burn just a reminder is 20 damage every turn but they can flip a coin to get rid of that in between turns as well um, this thing doesn't sound that impressive is you know it's like um, you know, 20 damage for sure, maybe get 40, so it could stack up, but they could just switch. You know, I felt like things like Spell Tag were kind of nice because you can throw that damage, even though it's only 40, to whatever Pokemon you want, but this is less uh, flexible in that regard. Alright, let's go to Syndrace VMAX. So a reminder, VMAX is simply you just evolve from V Pokemon, or the Syndrace V which is going to be a basic. So it's kind of like Mega, but you don't need like the spirit length thing to, to not end your turn or whatever. But we do have Syndrace coming in at 320 HP. That's a, kind of a number that we're going to tuck away because that will come up later. And its first attack is counter for red and a colorless 30 damage plus the amount of damage. If you're attacked last turn, you add that much damage to your attack. So to me, this sounds like a very weakened version of Outrage where the, it's not how much damage you already have, it's just how much damage you took last turn. Uh, but ultimately, still coming at 320 HP, this thing can definitely pack a punch. Uh, it's kind of a situation where if you get Syndrace V Max out, you know, at full health, your opponent is basically in a situation where if you attack it and you don't knock it out, the crackback is probably going to be huge, or you have to uh, one shot it or just deal a little bit of damage over time and then the second attack is grand fireball 170 your opponent's active pokemon is now burned uh 170 sounds pretty good for most two shine things plus the burn mechanic but uh and it is three energy two fire one colorless um doesn't sound bad but doesn't sound that super strong uh you know one one thing i'm wondering is if again burn keeps coming up maybe there will be a card that kind of buffs burn uh, i think there's there are a few cards that kind of like buff uh, i think like Viper. like if your active opponent's active pokemon is poison add 10 damage to that poison um and maybe there will be something like that to kind of enhance these burn mechanics because it seem to keep coming up but add in face value doesn't seem that strong to me all right now we're going to move to the water type cards the first one is called full bucket sometimes guys very simple is good enough and this card is maybe one of those good examples it's just search your deck for two water energy reveal them put them into your hand shuffle your deck very simple it's almost like uh but it is a two for one and that's the important thing anytime you can you know uh get your deck get your thin your deck out by cards that you don't really want maybe you don't want to draw and then but you can get multiple them out so at this point if you draw this card it's kind of like you can get three cards out of your deck so you can zero in on the cards you're looking for um and you net two energy into your hand so very nice card it's kind of like you know when tag search came, I was like oh my gosh this is just a straight two for one and in a way a three for one out of your deck so a pretty cool card and at this point to be honest I'm looking for synergies and this thing when it comes to the going to be the one of the stronger ramp up cards with froth 
Frost Moth, uh, where you can accelerate as many water energies as you want to your water bench water Pokemon, but uh, it has to be from your hand, and this could be a good way to kind of get, you know, all right, well, how am I going to get all the water gene out of my hand or into my hand? This is a simple two for one way to do so. So, Full Bucket is pretty cool with Frost Moth, and you know, we're starting to see some of these synergies that so far I don't really see for the fire type. And then, of course, we have Intellion V Max. This card, um, I am pretty excited about. It feels like it can do a lot of different stuff. Uh, and actually, well, let's jump into what it can do. So coming in at 320 HP, same thing as Syndrace. And we have two attacks. First one is just for one water. I do like how it can be super lean. Just one water, 60 damage, return an energy card from your opponent's active Pokemon to their hand. So basically, uh, de-ramp them. Difference between this and like the, like some of the hammers is it doesn't get this card. It just goes back to their hand. But either way, that can just slow down your opponent. You know, a lot of times, uh, strategies are kind of, you know, there's not a lot of room for error where, oh, if I do this exact way, I'll have just enough energy to get this attack off. There's a lot of these cards that kind of um, de-ramp your opponent and they can really throw off their strategy and they kind of have to build in some buffer into their uh, kind of like the exact plays that they're looking to make. So Hydro Snipe is pretty good in that regard. Then we have Grand Bullet coming in for two water colorless, 160 damage, and you can do 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. 60 is quite high for kind of like, I don't know what to call it, but bench damage uh, while dealing damage to their active. And not only is it 60 high, but so it's seeming like the Grand Bullet 160 damage is good enough for a two shot against most Pokemon. Uh, so that's going probably my main concern with this card is while it has can do a lot of different things, um, I'm hope, I'm wondering if it'll just come up just short in a couple regards, especially around Grand Bullet. Uh, so actually, one thing we'll, we mentioned 320 for Syndra. So this is, is a one shot and probably will be a one shot for most fire types. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen a fire type that has 330 or something that's weak to water that has more than 320 HP. But there are a handful, there, we're going to hit a card that has 330 HP and I think like Storlax VMAX has 340. So there will be certain times when this cuts not hit that um, that two shot threshold, which I do think could be a weakness in, in for this card. And um, maybe there will be some simple ways to buff it, uh, but you know, this probably just as likely to for the opponent's side as well. So on the water side, I think I'm more optimistic for, but I'm wondering, I uh, might uh, worry is that this card will just come just short for a couple uh, knockouts. Alright, moving to grass. I am so excited for grass. You know, as far as like the pre-release, pro again, I highly encourage everyone go to pre-release next weekend. Um, the Rillaboom that has that crazy ramp up, I'm so excited for. And I feel like these new cards, these two cards are just like asking for it to be played. So here we have Turf Field. Uh, it's a stadium card. Once during once during each player's turn, that player may search your deck for a Grass Evolution Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in their hand. So this is one of those stadiums that's like, you know, if you don't have Grass Evolution Pokemon, when, when it gets played, it's like, alright, I have to get rid of this. This thing is just straight card advantage for the other player. And uh, it kind of plays nicely to, you know, anything that involves, like Rillaboom. That's stage 2 that we can do our massive Grass Energy ramp up from the deck. Not from your hand, not from your discard, from the deck. So good. So I'm really excited for Turf Field, and I think it'll play really nicely into Rillaboom V Max. This is the one I'm most excited for. So, Rillaboom V Max coming in at 330 HP. So, what were we talking about? Intellion, uh, you know, not being able to do that two shot. Here is an example. So, Rillaboom V Max for what, just a colorless energy, 50 damage straight up. Um, you know, not not great, but you know, not bad. Maybe, you know, not as good as like Intellions. Uh, but still, hey, you know, I only have an energy. I'm only gonna do 50 damage. Maybe that's all I need. But then we have Grand Drum Roll for three Grass Energy, one color. So it is kind of heavy. Uh, 130 plus damage. You may discard up to three Grass Energy from this Pokemon. This attack will does 50 more damage for each energy you discard it this way. So I love how Grand Drum Roll has a lot of flexibility. Um, by discarding energy, you can do 130, 180, 230, 280. And you can pick whatever threshold you want. Uh, it's whatever you need to get that knockout. This thing uh, for VMAXs probably won't be one-shotting things, but it'd be pretty easy to set up two shots with a lot of buffer. So even if they heal, uh, there's a good chance you can still get that knockout on the second attack. So. 
all right, well, we're spending energy to attack. You know, how can we keep that up? The answer is obvious. It is Rillaboom himself. Again, guys, pre-release next weekend. It's going to be super exciting. Rillaboom is going to be one of the pre-release promos. And I think it's going to be so strong. In case you forgot, once per turn, if you have Rillaboom, the non-VMAX version or the non-V version, this thing can basically ramp up two grass energy to any one of your Pokemon from your deck. Uh, so every so and let's say we are going all out. We are doing that 280 damage grand drum roll uh, We can do that every single turn if we have Rillaboom on the bench which ramps up two and then energy for turn That's three more energy that you can discard uh, I imagine this will use your energy pretty fast uh, So we'll, we'll have to plan around that and you know Rillaboom non v is a stage two and then the v max is also one you have to evolve so you know there is quite a bit of work to be done to kind of set this up but you know that is just so much power that is pretty repeatable if you can get things set up all right so last we'll kind of go through just some uh kind of like ideas so reminder yeah rillaboom is a stage two and then v max is also has evolved from v so how are we going to do that there are actually a lot of cards in the sword and shield base that will kind of like aid our way there uh, obviously we just talked about turf field so this can get those evolution cards into your hand uh, every single turn um, we have that new quick ball discard a card grab any kind of basic energy basic pokemon from your deck so that will help us so we got turf field for the evolutions quick ball for the basics uh, the also for the evolution we have the evolutionary incense straight up just go search your deck for a uh, evolution Pokemon added to your hand. You don't even need to discard anything. Potentially, we could go a different route. So the uh, shout outs to Get Rex who kind of bubbled this up to me is like, hey, you know what? Don't forget about the Rowlet Olin Executor tag team. This thing has super growth. It basically says evolve one of your Pokemon from your library or from your deck and evolve it, uh, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, and, you know, if you let's say you just happen to run two of those and maybe you run some tag team supporters you can include tag call which is again straight up two for one which is perfect uh the only thing about this this kind of does the evolution for you so you know it kind of goes against turf field evolution incense this thing specifically says you have to search your deck i don't think you can do it if it's already in your hand and however um and that's also kind of contradictory to like the rare candy strategy where if you use turf field or evolution incense you can go straight from uh basic with when the quick ball into the stage two for the rillaboom obviously it doesn't really apply for the v-back so my point here is that while there is a good amount of setup we have a good number we have different options in how we're going to get there whether it's evolved from the deck or evolved from the hand and we have plenty of cards to tutor up everything we need to get this set up and reminder like let's say i don't know you have a great hand and you start off with uh, v, you start off with the two basics on turn one, you know, turn two, uh, you know, if you have everything set up, all you need a rare candy and, you know, the, uh, maybe the turf field and maybe the evolutionary incense, uh, you can get straight to the both Rilla booms and use that 280 attack turn two. Yes. That's like basically a perfect, perfect hand. Uh, but you set up an engine where you're doing mass max damage on your first attacking turn and setting up for you know to repeat that every single time so i feel like this is you know the deck that i'm most excited to try uh once all these cards come available um and again the way that they're kind of like releasing these cards like oh my gosh they they want us to do this <laughs> they're they're uh they're baiting us so all right, that's gonna be it for me today. Um, if you see any other kind of like synergies that uh, that haven't been mentioned, definitely let me know in a comment down below. I, I love this kind of stuff, just like uh, theory crafting. And you know, it's great to have these kind of conversations with you guys. So definitely let me know. And if you did enjoy the content, as always guys, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time.